Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across of this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for supporting this channel. For the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. The only channel with the true information. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. It's the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Remember, we are talking, we are still discussing about the UAE Lebalo 2022. It was super excitement. By the way, what happens if I resign under the limited contract in the UAE? Is there any entitlement for me? Let's see what happens in this video. If it is your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to press the notification bell. You'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Remember, before we talk about resigning under the limited contract, remember we're talking about a three-year contract that is being introduced under the new labor law in the UAE. Yes, before you talk about resigning, did you know some of the articles in the UAE labor law that talk about some of this important information? Yes, if you do, then it is the right way to find out the right answers. And if you don't know, then this is the right channel where we shall get into some of these critical articles in the labor law in the UAE, such that you can know what happens, what can you do? In case you got in this scenario, what can you do? In this case, what happens if you resign under a limited contract? Yes, before we talk about the limited contract, we need to talk about Article 131 of the labor law in the UAE. What does Article 131 in the UAE labor law say? What does it talk about the employees or what does it talk about the employer or what does it talk about the employment in Dubai or in Amman UAE when we talk about UAE? Remember, we are talking about the seven Emirates that make up Dubai. What does it say? Remember, the article highlights the relationship between the employer and the employee. What happens if you get to get out in disagreement, either resignation or resigning or termination in any way, what is the contractual agreement between the two of you? And what should be done? Yes, let's go straight into the video. Let me just read you a small bit of what the article 131 of the new labor law says about, or what it talks about. Yes, it says, according to the UAE labor law, Article 131, an employee shall, upon of termination of contract, bear the expenses of repatriation of the worker to the location from which he he hired or to any other location agreed upon between the two parties. Such authority may recover such expenses by means of attachment. Remember, once you resign or terminated, depending on which kind of cause between which may we may look at. Your employer who recruited you or the company that recruited you from wherever it recruited from you, it bears the expenses of repatriating you back to the final destination where it recruited you from. That is what the article says. So if you are terminated by the company, if you get to resign with the company under some contractual agreements, that company has to recruit you back to your home country of origin where it recruited you from. That is what Padelo says. But remember, in case your employer does not want to recruit you or you do not have the resources to take you back to your country, the responsible government authority will do, will do the expense, will do the recruitment back to repatriation back to your country and that attachment will be forwarded to your employer to pay with charges or with penalties. But remember, before you think about that also, there are some scenarios that may happen, or there are some scenarios. For example, look at a situation 
we, sh we shall look at two situations. One, should the worker upon termination of the contract be employed by another company? Let's say, for example, company A terminated you. Remember, in some situations, you are given two weeks to be repatriated back to your country. But within the course of those two weeks, you get another person or another company that is going to employ you under what we call sponsorship. What does it mean in that situation? In that situation, it will mean that the new company will bear all the costs of repatriation back to your country. Because it's your new sponsor. Hope you're getting me right. In case during that time of, contact, uh, that time of uh, termination by your company, it may depend on the reasons, maybe abundance, maybe of misconduct. In case you are terminated and in that due course of two weeks of repatriation, you get another person to sponsor you, another company. Then this company A will not bear the cost of taking you back to your own, own country. That means the new company has to bear all the costs. Then let us look at a situation, a situation where, a situation B, whereby the company, a situation whereby you are terminated because of misconduct. You are terminated because of bleaching the contract. Or you are terminated before you complete the contract under what we call misconduct. Remember, I told you something. When you're looking at the contract, some of us, we should be very careful as we are signing the contracts. You should read one by one of the clauses of the contract such that you know what is in the contract. So, in this case, should the reason of termination of the contract be attributed to the worker, then the company will not bear the attribution or will not bear the cost of terminate, of taking you back to your country. Should you be the reason of your own making why the company is terminating you, then the company is not going to pay up the repatriation charges or any other charges back to your country. That is under the new labor law or that is under uh, the UAE labor law. So meaning that you'll bear all the costs to repatriate back to your country. All the costs will be borne by you. Hope it's very clear. So you must be very careful. As you're signing these contracts, you must be very careful. You must know what you're signing. Read every clause of that. And when we go to this company, companies to work for these companies, let us try to work and get out of those irregularity. Because much as we may be protected, but they're also protected. Because these are businesses, they are protected. There are some articles in the law that protects them. So it is not a contractual that you, the employee, will get 100% rights. No, it will be a 50-50 rights. Even the company itself that is giving you the visa and giving employment has the rights in one or the other. So hope I've tried to explain to you thoroughly. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. See you again in another video as we try to, to discuss more of this important information that is going to help us grow or help us improve and look for better and better opportunities one more year. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share and comment in the subsection. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. By the way, support, subscribe to this channel as we are looking at to, to, to 2,000 subscribers. Mix from the Mix Creation TV. See you again in the next video.